Welcome back to the Olmstead Workshop. Today we're going to take a look at adding a magnetic paddle safety switch to an existing router table as well as adding some wooden walls to that to make it a cabinet so we can add some drawer storage. I started this project by cutting down some scrap plywood I had to make the appropriate size panels and screwing them in with some self-tapping screws to some pre-drilled holes in this angle iron tool stand. All these panels were pretty much cut to fit because the angle iron required some spots to have a bit of an offset, as well as it sat on a piece of plywood as a base. Since this cabinet was going to house a router lift, I wanted to have power on the underside of the cabinet. So I pre-made these wires with crimped connections that were going to connect to my magnetic paddle switch. I mounted two electrical boxes on either side of the same panel as this switch was just going to connect directly to the back end of the outlet box from the other side. Even though this was going to be on the inside of the cabinet, I didn't want to have any exposed wiring so I did use a outlet cover just to clean up the look a bit. Using the magnetic paddle safety switch, I wired the outlet together with a 9 foot replacement power tool cord and since I didn't have any green wire on hand, I ended up using an extra white for my ground coming from the outlet to the cable. With the switch panel installed, it was time to drill some pocket hole screws to attach the center panel so I could divide the cabinet into two sides. One for drawers and the other for the under mount dust collection for the router lift. Using clamping squares to hold everything in place, I attached the center panel using pocket hole screws. I didn't use any glue in this project since everything was connected to an outer frame. Here you can see where I cut some reliefs in the center panel as well as a hole in the back panel to route some dust collection hoses. Here you can see how my dust collection enters the table. I have a Y with the 4 inch side going up to an Incra clean sweep dust collector and a 2 and a quarter inch hose that runs through the back side of the cabinet up to the Incra fence. At this point it was time to get busy building some drawer boxes. I went through this very simple construction using half inch ply and cutting dados to capture the bottom panel which I used a quarter inch. With all the front and backs cut, I decided to do half lap joints to hold the sides on. These are just going to be simple shop drawers, so I wasn't looking for anything fancy. Here I cut down a quarter inch thick plywood panel to make all my bottom drawer inserts. The drawer construction was very simple, just using a bead of glue into the dado slot for the bottom panel, and then gluing and then brad nailing the sides on. After spending what felt like an eternity making drawer boxes, it was time to spend another eternity installing drawer slides into this cabinet. Since the cabinet was built into an angle iron frame, I did have to add spacer blocks along one side to make sure that there was enough clearance for the drawer slides to fully extend. Using spacer blocks, I set the drawer in and then pulled the slides out part way to meet at the front of it and then attached the slides that way, ensuring that they were both even so the drawer would pull out without any racking. With all the drawers installed, it was time to load them up and finally, it was time to test out the effectiveness of the dust collection. 
This was a great project to add some utility and storage options to my router table and keep all those tools right at hand. So be sure to like and subscribe for more content, and thanks for stopping by the Olmstead Workshop. We'll see you next time.